What is up guys, welcome back for the GOT once again. Today we are taking on Zero and the uh, the in Indiana Infernapes, that's it, that's what it is. Uh, as you can see my opponent has a Latios of his own actually, it's a regular Latios. Uh, Mega Agron, Staraptor, Embor, uh, Aselgor, and Quagsire. Um, he left behind Yuxi, which I was actually kind of surprised about because Yuxi does pretty well against my team. I don't have a very solid answer for it. Like, yes, I can weaken it slowly, and I do have Zoroark, but other than that, that thing can put in a lot of work against me, especially if it's uh, Calm Mind or just a basic U turn set, just gives my opponent so much momentum. This was probably my worst matchup of the three guys, uh, simply because of one Pokemon, and that was Staraptor. I didn't have anything for, for Staraptor, and it forced me to run Choppleberry Heatran, um, just as a check to a potential non-choice Staraptor, or one just going for uh, close combat on the Switch. Uh, I would be able to eat up the hit and switch into Golurk uh, and do something from there, but uh, I was forced into a position where I had to run something like Choppleberry Heatran, so that alone, like, just, my bird checks are not amazing. Uh, normally, Heatran checks uh, flying types very, very well. Uh, it's just this one specifically that gets access to fighting coverage like this. This and Tornadus are the only two. But even Tornadus' superpower isn't super threatening. Uh, I can live it and I can just hit him with like a Stone Edge or a Max Attack Stone Edge, let's say. But Staraptor specifically is one of the toughest Pokemon for me to deal with, and it's one that I really wanted Deancey for. That, that's specifically why I wanted Deancey as my last Pokemon was for Staraptor. I didn't even know I was going to go up against a Staraptor, but I knew that it was one of the most annoying Pokemon to my team. So, knowing that, uh, as you can see my opponent's team, he has a Quagsire, so it's very difficult for me to set up with anything. As a result, I brought Dragon Dance for Alligator with Natural Gift Grass Lychee Berry. And I also brought uh, Torrent. I didn't bring Sheer Force. The reason being that I had Sub on my set, uh, and I wanted him to bring me into uh, into, into Torrent range to boost my Waterfall. Uh, the reason I didn't run Sheer Force uh, was because I wanted the potential to flinch the Quagsire once with Waterfall, and then smack it with a, uh, a Natural Gift Grass and knock it out. Because as soon as Quagsire went down, Rock Polish Golurk, would have put in so much work against my opponent's team. It would have actually just killed everything. Everything would have dropped. I just needed a little bit of damage on Mega Agron, and I needed to make sure that I was outspeeding Scarf Staraptor, which I did. The way I EV'd uh, my Golurk, I would be able to outspeed Scarf Staraptor if it was adamant at plus two. So, knowing that, um, let's, let's see the lead matchup. As you can see, he leads with his Mega Agron, and I lead off with my Heatran. Now, I did say that I needed uh, Heatran for Staraptor, but I can't switch out on this thing. So I'm going to stay in, and I'm going to miss a Magma Storm, and he's going to go for EQ. Now, I know that this thing gets EQ, but I also knew that I could live it. And if I trap this thing with Magma Storm, I could go for rocks on the following turn, let him knock me out, and then I would be free to go out into my Golurk, or my Feraligator, pretty much anything in setup at that point. So, missing that Magma Storm, this turn one is probably the most crucial turn one that I have ever had in any league game. Because missing this means that this Agron is not weakened, and I'm going to have a much harder time sweeping with anything that I choose to. So... Let's just resume. He's actually going to switch out into his Latios on the following Magma Storm, and guess what? We're going to miss again. <laughs> so we don't even get to get off damage on this thing. He's going to go for Psy Shock. We live on one. This is a recurring theme. We get up Stealth Rocks, and he's just going to go for a Dragon Pulse and knock us out. Now I'm going to go out into Latios, but it's not really Latios. It is Zoroark. Uh, Red Eyes comes in, and we go for a Dark Pulse, and he lives on two. <clears throat> so I'm praying for the flinch. Uh, and Dragon Pulse has a chance not to knock me out. It's a very, very um, good roll in my favor for it to not knock me out. I think it does something like 92 to 103, around there. But, of course, he's going to crit me. <laughs> so he's going to knock out my Zoroark instantly. 
Uh, and now I have nothing faster than this, so I have to go into Toxicroak. We're Air Balloon. The reason I brought this set, guys, as you can see, we Sucker Punch to knock this thing out, but the reason I brought Air Balloon was because this is a perfect switch to Quagsire. Quagsire cannot touch this Toxicroak at all. It has to run some kind of wacky coverage to be able to break my balloon because water moves don't touch me and ground being the only other thing that does can't hit me because of the balloon. So I'd be able to freely set up on that Quagsire. But instead, I have to go for a Sucker Punch on this Latios, and it goes down, and in comes the threat <laughs> that is Flystar. Now, I, I'm just going to go for Sucker Punch, of course, because I do not have a switch to a Brave Bird at all on my team. And as you can see, Sucker Punch into Brave Bird Recoil is going to be able to take out this Staraptor. No, it's not. It lives on one again. So what does this mean? Now I'm out of priority. I know this thing is Scarfed. There's no way it's not Scarfed. So I have to take a hit on something else. And he's going to go for the Brave Bird. And again, we're going to live on two. <laughs> this is just crazy. We live on two. We go for the Ice Beam because I didn't have setup on this. He's going to go out into a Cell Gore. I know this thing is offensive at this point, by the way. He brings it in. He goes for the Bug Buzz. He knocks me out. Takes 10%. I know this has Giga Drain. There's nothing I can do about it. But I go into Golurk. He's going to go for the Giga Drain. He's going to take uh, back a little bit of health. Take Life Orb. I'm gonna Shadow Punch, and it lives on one again. <laughs> so three of his Pokemon at this point have lived on either one or two percent. Uh, I can't do anything anymore. I'm gonna go into for Alligator. I'm going to just knock this thing out with a Waterfall. Uh, if I set up with a Dragon Dance, I still don't outspeed it anyway, so I'm just gonna Waterfall right here. He's gonna go out into his Mega Aggron. I was hoping he would go out into Quagsire so I would at least be able to get one more kill, but no, he's gonna play for the differential. We're not gonna be able to get the flinch with the Waterfall, and he's just gonna go for T-Punch, which I figured he had, and that is gonna knock us out. So, very short battle right there. Uh, I'm not gonna keep this outro very long. This was a very frustrating game, because like I said, if that first Magma Storm landed, I got up rocks, guaranteed, and nothing on his team would have lived on one anymore because I would have been able to use Zoroark, Scarf Zoroark, mind you, uh, to be able to deal with the Acelgor, uh, to be able to deal with the Staraptor if it was adamant because we were 300 speed. Uh, we would have been able to knock out the Latios if rocks were up before it came in. Uh, and the Embor was the only real thing left that would have been able to deal some good damage to me. But if I didn't have to sack off my own Latios to a Brave Bird, I had Luster Perch. And what does Luster Purge do? It lowers your uh, your spadef when you get hit by it. So that means that if Agron comes back in, gets Luster Purged, uh, after the Magma Storm damage and the recoil, it would have gone down to a Shadow Ball. Same thing with Quagsire. If I Luster Purge it a bunch of times, I'm just lowering its spadef. <laughs> it can't do anything to me. It can't just infinitely recover. And Embor can't come in on a Luster Purge anyway. <clears throat> so that's, uh, that's going to be the game, unfortunately. We do take a 3-0 loss. That brings us to a 0 differential and a 1-1 one one record. So you guys are going to see uh, the last game tomorrow. Uh, if you did enjoy this game uh, as much as I did, <laughs> make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys later. Ciao.